Hello everybody, thank you for watching. Today I'm going to show you guys how to blur a small portion of a video in case there's something in the video that you want to censor such as somebody's face or just something that you don't necessarily want to reveal. Currently I am using Shotcut version 20.02.17. If you guys don't have the most recent version, I'd head over to shotcut.org and get the most recent version and then head back over here for this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is pretty much burn through the first part of this so that the, those who are here just to see what filters or whatever you need to add in to make it happen, you can figure it out from there, you can do that. Then I'm also going to go through how I do it so that those who are unfamiliar with it can uh, get a, a real tutorial on how to do it. So first thing, this is what we are going to try to accomplish. Pop in a frame here real quick. That's what we want but we want it to move around with the video with it, right? Because he does move around, he takes off running here. I'll pop up the video so you guys know what we got. All right, so there he is, he runs around. He doesn't stay in the center, he moves over here, then he jumps away. So we want to have that sensor follow him around. It's kind of a tedious process, gotta go frame by frame, but it's not as bad as what you think. So, let's get started. So I'm gonna drag in the unedited version of this video, which is here. Delete that frame, drop in the video, and there we go. All right, you wanna be zoomed in a little bit so that you can go frame by frame pretty easily without uh, being too tedious. Let's go ahead and get rid of this up here. Don't need that. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you want the filters. What you want is you want to type in mask and get the mask simple shape. You also want blur because that's what we're doing, we're blurring. And you want the blur box. So click on that one. And then you want one more and that is called mask apply. And there we go. So those are the filters you need. All right, I'll go through a quick uh, what each one of these does. So blur box, you can't really see if there's a blur here, but whenever you pop it up, there you go. This pretty much tells it how blurry to make it. I usually keep it about 50. If you go all the way down, you can't tell there is a blur. But if you go all the way up, for some reason, it's just a little blurry. So when you keep it about 50, 52, where I'm at now, I'll just leave it there. It's it's okay. It's uh, It does its job. So go to mass simple shave. I always turn this to ellipse. Because right now we are going to be doing something circular. So it's not really a box. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal will move this to the right. It should pop over here. And it will also move it to the left. There you go. And then vertical just does the same thing. It moves it to the up and down. Height and width just does that. It changes the dimensions as far as how tall and how wide it is. And rotation, if you happen to pick triangle or diamond, I guess you can change the rotation. Then softness, you don't want it too soft because what it does, it makes it really soft. I guess that means softness of the edges. But when you keep softness all the way down, it makes it very, uh, very blurry. So I think you, anywhere that you feel comfortable, you're good with that. So right now we can go ahead and get started. So on the first couple frames, let's go ahead and center it up. Uh, looks like we need to go down a little bit. There we go. And then to the right a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so now we come down here. And we kind of jump forward a couple frames because I know towards the beginning of the video, he kind of stood pretty still. So let's see where he goes from here. Just kind of like I'm, like I'm doing right here. Just jump up forward a little bit just to make sure he stays within that censored area. Looks like his beast wanted to pop out a little bit. But let's see, that might be okay. There we go. Now he turned back into the censored area. Looks, Looks like he's ducking down a little bit. So what you do here, whenever he starts coming out too much, push the S button. What that does is it'll split the frame right there. Like it just did. Okay. And then now... The new edits will only go for here and forward, so everything behind you will be left the same. So we want to move that down. Boom. 
Now he's covered again. So let's move down just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now we can proceed. Go ahead and jump forward a couple frames at a time. Then most of the movement happens towards the second half, so I'm anticipating getting a lot of censoring to go on here in a second. Okay, there he's starting to turn around. Looks like he's ducking. Alright, he is turning about to take off. Alright, so, uh, let's see what his next few frames look like. Yes, he's, he's about to come out, so I'm going to jump back a little bit. Now I'm going to split it here because it looks like he's trying to pop out. And I'm going to move this a little bit to the left. There we go. Just a little more. All right, we'll see what that gets. Let's just keep going. Looks like he might be coming down a little bit. Nope, we're good. Jump forward a couple more. And if pretty sure he's going to start taking off run. Looks like his eyes are popping out. So, yeah, here comes all the edits. Okay, so a little more back. Where his eyes are showing. There we go. So let's split again here. We're going to move it back to the right a little bit. There we go. All right. Now his eyes are popping out again. So let's split it one more time with the S key on the keyboard. And then pop over to the right. And he's going to take off to the left again in a second. So got to be ready for that. Jump forward. There he goes. And here we go. All right, he's starting to move. So there we go. We split it there. And I'm pretty sure he runs to the left side of the frame pretty good. So I'm going to try to keep the censoring as far left as possible to reduce the amount of edits i got to make. There we go. So that should be good there. And there he goes. Oh, he's already out. Quick. Go back a little bit. All right, he's still in there, so let's split it there again. Move it to the left. And it looks like he's ducking down, too, so let's go ahead and move it down a little bit. A little more. All right, now we can keep going. Already right, looks like he's trying to come out of it. Couple more frames. Yep, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and split there and move it over a little bit more. Okay. Proceed a little farther. Alright, he should slow down here. Alright, this is where he stops. All right, so let's go back another frame. And let's split it because he's going to move his head back more towards the center now. There we go. Oh, a little too far. Move that back. Okay, so now let's keep going. I hear he'll probably be completely out of it. But he's turning around, so this is going to be a good time for me to show you guys how just to get rid of the filters if you guys don't know how to do that. So we'll split here. Make sure we get his face whenever he turns back around. That looks like he's, he is going to jump up on that thing, so I'll move this upwards also. There we go. Now let's keep going. Alright, looks like it's turning out pretty good. His eyes are coming out there. Pretty much turned around, but let's go ahead and take care of him there too. So he's going over and up. All right, so here we go. Keep going. I know he's going to jump on on that thing. All right, he's turning around. Looks like the eyes want to come out a little bit. So, I think you guys kind of got the gist of how to move this around. So, in case you guys don't know what you can do, uh, is get rid of the filter. Say the person turns around, you don't want to filter 
all that or a or sensor so what you can do is split it here this one and all you gotta do now since he's gonna be pretty much turned around on this one get rid of the filters all together obviously that's, you probably should filter that but this is just an example uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and export this and I will show you guys what the finished product looks like all right and if you don't know how to export hit this export button down here export file and call it I'm gonna call this blurry bird all right save and there we go it's gonna export and I'll let you guys know what it looks like all right the video finished and let's see what it looks like when we open it all right looks like a sensor falling around pretty good and at the end it should yep there it goes let's play one more time for you guys all right, and at the end, uh, the filters go away like we deleted them. Well, that's good. And if there's any spots, and if there's any spots that you guys notice where you forgot to put it in, or the sensor was off, or uh, you see his face, you forgot to put it in, all you gotta do is go back in here, find that spot, and adjust the sensors or adjust the filters the way you need them. And it's really easy as that. Thank you everybody for watching. If this has helped you guys out at all, please like and subscribe. And leave a comment uh, down below. Let me know what you guys will like to see next. I thank you, everybody. Take care.